And this goes for a lot of people out there, including my friends that I talk to sometimes. I'm just saying, I gotta stress this. I've got a lot of friends out there right now that put up with a lot of shit from people that are toxic in their life. And I just wanna let them know I got your back. And being from a toxic relationship before, you are wasting your energy on those negative little bitches. And all I can say to you is, if it feels wrong, it is wrong. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. You guys deserve a lot more. You deserve a lot more. And um, if no one wants to, to be your number one, they don't want to be your number one and they don't want to bring out the good qualities in you people, if they don't want to bring out, if you're with a person that doesn't want to bring out the best in you and they don't want to let you shine your brightest, fucking leave, man. Ask them to just get out. If they don't want to let you, right? Exactly. A good relationship is one that they will give you the space to shine your brightest. They will give you the space to shine your brightest, but they'll be there to catch you if you fall. They won't stand next to you and tell you how to do it. They won't stand right next to you and tell you you look this way or you look that way. They'll let you be you, and you'll let them be you, them. And you guys will be, you got to be best friends. You don't. But you can be partners. You're supposed to hold each other up. So if you're out there and you're wondering, why can't he just change? Why can't she just change? And can't they see how important this is? Or can't they see what they're missing out on? Some people will never see through the eye of a spiritually clean person. They will never see through the eye of the light. They won't. And you'll never get them to. Ever. Ever. So you have to have to do what's right for your life, your life, and your kids. Smiles are the only thing that matter with your kids. Smiles and health. Watch, Eric. Once you have kids, you're going to be like, dang, Justin's so smart. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm here, Daniel son. That's one of the reasons why I wrote Moving On. It's one of the reasons it's so important right now in my life. You know, there's a lot of people in my life that still want to come into my life and drop little drop little cockroach poop <laughs> everywhere <laughs> screw that man i don't need no cockroach poop that's right i got a clean ass house why the hell do i want some cockroach poop in it don't <laughs> doubt your ability to be on your own and be a badass mf do not ever doubt being happy do not ever doubt that life is supposed to be joyous it is we're the ones that screw that shit up by letting negative people in our lives and in our chi, man. Boundaries, baby. Boundaries. Boundaries. I swear. God, man. These negative bitches, they feed like leeches. They do. They suck on you and they suck on you. They suck on you. They suck on you. Got no shit to worry about. Wait. Wait, hold on. I ain't got shit to worry about. That's right, because I keep my boundaries up. Boom! Oh, so